Hello. <laughs> um, we are back in the kitchen. Quarantine kitchen. Whoa. Kitchen teen. Kitchen teen. Kitchen time. Mm, if you're into that sort of thing. Sure. Um, but anyway, we are celebrating food and wine festival. Woo! 25 years. Look how cool that pot is And we every year. For the last two, two years. I've been a few times before um, when I was a kid. Sorry, I'm like distracted. There's like There's a, a bug, bug somewhere. floating around the kitchen somewhere. Um, but we are going to be bringing you a series all about the uh, recipes from Food and Wine. Yes. We're going to make our own food Woo. since we can't go this year. And we'll drink our own wine. That too. Today we're making... We're starting at the Mexico Pavilion. We always go left first. Yep, Let us know. To. Comment down below. Do you go right or left? It's you important. know what we mean. It's very important. We go left. <laughs> to the left, to the left. Uh, but yeah, we are starting at Mexico. Yep. Making tostada. Si. Uh, with pulled pork, mm. black beans, mm. salsa verde, mm. and I think cilantro. Delicious. It was so good. We had it on our honeymoon. It was a thing two years ago, and it's a thing again this year. Which Last year, I feel like they did. I think they might have done a tostada, but I feel like it, it was wasn't like the a, same one. They had a lot of short rib last year. Yeah. But yeah, so um, first little tip, we we did where we'll show you the footage of our crock pot over there, um, which has been cooking our pork now for almost six hours. Just about. Um, but we had to kind of put a pause on that and put it on low heat. We had a bean snafu. I thought beans were like rice. I was like, oh, I'm gonna get the bagged beans. I'm gonna cook them myself. Yeah, I was like, oh, I also did too. Throw it in the water, 15 minutes, Good boil, to go. done. No. This is like a two and a half, three hour process, depending how you yeah. do it. Yeah. You soak them for like an hour. After you boil them for two minutes and then you put them off heat and then you cook them again after they sat for that hour for two hours and it's, it's a thing <sighs> huh tired just hearing him talk about it but anyway it's my mad face <laughs> either way so beans take a while we are currently waiting for them to boil Ooh, that water is black I bet that black beans make a really good dye for a shirt you have a white shirt. We can try it now. Mm, yeah. Well, we'll see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, some of the recipes online, actually, I was looking it up. I'm like, let me see. Is this legit? And, yeah, actually, some of them were like, let it soak for 8 to 24 hours. So I was like, <laughs> So we'll do the Target no. 1 to 2. <laughs> yeah, so we're using the Target method from the one hour. Good and Gather beans. Uh -huh. Those. It's going to be a little bit. Guess Fingers we're crossed. having dinner at 11 o'clock again or something. Classic us during quarantine. But I guess while our beans soak, we can make our salsa very nice. Smart. So anyway, welcome to Food and Wine. We're at Epcot, clearly. Yay. And that's all. Um, our beans are about to boil. Look at them, look at them beans. Did you know that they're good for your heart? And good for your hearts too. The more you eat, the more you fart!
So we are going to try our tomatillo salsa. We have made tomatillo salsa before, but now we're doing it extremely fresh with roasted tomatillos and jalapeno ninos. Yeah, usually I don't put any of the onion in, mm. um, and I don't think I've put lime juice or sugar in them either, but we also don't roast them, so we'll see how it turns out. Yeah. We started out with just one jalapeno with no seeds. So we might add um, some heat or so, not. So, yeah, if you add the seeds in, it's going to add a ton of heat, so usually we'll start by just adding extra jalapeno first without yeah. the seeds, and then in the end, if we need more, yeah. we'll add in a couple seeds We like time. spice, but not that much. Yeah, like... That sometimes it's just like a overwhelming. Burn. Yeah. So we're gonna try it and see. It's still warm too, so this will be interesting. Usually I have it ice cold. Chilled. All right. It smells so good. It's good. I definitely think it could use more jalapeno though. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. All right. All right. Mm. That's so good though. Mm. I like the onion in there. It's very mild. So you, if you like mild salsa then I think that you would like it like this. But we but like a little, a we like a little more heat. That's really good. I kind of like the onion too. Right? It does need more heat. Not much, but some. Yeah. I think we'll add in both of the other jalapenos. Try this sucker out. <laughs> it's a good crunch. Mmm. Mmm. How did we do? I think we did pretty well. Yes. I got a little cold while I was taking pictures. Okay. Mm. I think we did very well. I think the pork probably could have used the crisping method that I learned about That's okay. to make real good carnitas, but the flavor is really good. Yes, it is. Delicious. Success. Mexico Pavilion done. Check it off the passport. Um, we might make the tacos at some point. Oh, true. Or a sangria. Well, it's been visited. It's, yeah, we, we've gone there. So you can now put us in the passport. Give us a, give us a stamp. <laughs> Sticker. I think they're doing e-passports this year. Which is so. pretty cool. Click. But thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very long process. Yeah, it was fun though. But we had a good time. Yeah. So we will see you next time at Food & Wine. Mm. Um, and be sure to subscribe, like. Share. Share. Instagram. Comment down below what your favorite thing at Food & Wine is. Please. If you haven't been, let us know um, if you're looking forward to going, if you don't even know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's our favorite thing. Yes. It's the reason we go so often in the fall. Correct. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much for watching. And we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Hey, honey. Hey, yeah. I heard you wanted beans. Don't worry. I got you covered. And the fly! It's here. Blue, blue. I know the burner.